They want us to evaluate this limit or show why it doesn't exist. The limit as x approaches 3 halves of 2x squared minus 3x all over the absolute value of 3 minus 2x. All right, a couple things to note. x equals 3 halves doesn't exist here because it makes the denominator 0. But it may just be a hole in the graph. It, it may not be a case of, of, of it being an asymptote. In any case, we need to deal with this absolute value. Here's how that happens. I'm going to let this whole thing be f of x, just so I don't have to write it out for you again. f of x is, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take when x is less than 3 halves and when x is greater than 3 halves and treat those separately. The reason I'm treating them separately is because whether or not this function on the inside is positive or negative will help us determine what kind of signs we need on it if we get rid of the absolute value bars. Okay, if x is less than 3 halves, the top of the fraction just stays as is. There's nothing special going on there. But in the bottom, x is less than 3 halves. That means 2x is less than 3. So in bottom, we have 3 minus something a little less than 3. Well, that's a positive number. And these absolute value bars wouldn't have played any role at all. This is the same as that when x is less than 3 halves. But when x is greater than 3 halves, all of a sudden, 2x is greater than 3. So what we get in here is 3 minus some number bigger than 3. In that case, the absolute value bars serve to make, to flip the sign of whatever values in here. Or put another way, you end up with the negative of what's in the absolute value. Notice the only thing that differs between these two is that I've dropped the absolute value bars, yes. But when x was less than 3 halves and the number inside was positive, I didn't need anything special. But when x was greater than 3 halves, like it was here, um, the absolute value bars served to flip the sign. And to represent that, we can add a negative here. So the question is, does evaluate the limit or show that it doesn't exist? So the way that you evaluate the limit is to literally plug these numbers in, although it's going to be a little tougher here. Here's the deal. We can show that it does not exist if we show that these two functions tend towards different values at 3 halves. And I think it's pretty clear that they do because the bottom of each of them goes towards 0. See, this t goes towards 0 as you get closer and closer to 3 halves. This goes towards 0 as you get closer and closer to 3 halves. The tops are the same in both cases, but the bottoms have different signs. So if one of them tends towards positive infinity, the other will tend towards negative infinity. Now, you can write that out. <laughs> I don't want to waste your time in this video. But the way to show that it does not exist is that the limit of this and the limit of this are the same, probably infinity of some kind, but one of them is positive and one of them is negative. Hey, best of luck to you.